So today we're putting in the A-pillar bars. Uh, we've already fitted them up. Uh, we have a we've marked and center punched where our leg is going to hit the floor. Um, we've also, like I said, we've got a center punch. What this hole is for is when you're going to weld the cage up with a hole here, you'll be able to bring the cage forward and drop it down through the floor, allowing you to get to some of the welds up on top. And then when it's all said and done, your floor plate will be back. You'll slide that floor plate back up underneath the tube and cover that hole back up again and hold that all. And uh, drill this, and then uh, we'll show you how that floor plate goes in there. We have our hole drilled for our A-pillar uh, bar. Now we're going to get the floor drilled for our, our floor plates. Um, notice that uh, the lower plate with the pin in it is slightly larger and the wide side you want toward the inside of the cab. Uh, when you fit these up in there you need uh, you probably need a helping hand, somebody underneath to hold the lower plate up through the floor and so you could put the top plate up on there and, and basically fit them together around the floor. Once you get those fitted and sitting where you want them, you can go ahead and, and mark your four holes. Get them drilled. That way, when you're doing the final weld on your cage, you can slide this plate underneath of that tube, and this will be the last, the last welding that you do right here. But uh, go ahead. We're going to get that drilled now. We're going to drill with a 2564. It's uh, 3 8 bolts that come with the kit. So I'll drill 2564, so give yourself a little bit of breathing room, maybe even a hair bigger than that if you want to. Uh, the pin is going to take all the load for you, so you don't have to have really tight holes. So uh, we'll get this drilled, uh, fit it up, and then we'll get you some pictures of that. Okay, in our previous segments, uh, we did the, the V-pillar hoop installation and the halo hoop. Now we're going to finish things up with our uh, A-pillar installation. We have our uh, hole saw hole here in the floor that we're going to use to help us figure out the length of our A-pillar bar. Uh, again, that hole was five inches up, two inches out. Um, by dropping your A-pillar bar through here, you can bring it up. And this is a place where it's nice to have an extra set of hands, something to help you hold this bar in place and get it fitted around here, make sure everything is the way you want it. And basically, all you need to do is mark mark out the floor where you're going to make that cut. Now remember, when you actually make the cut, you need to take an extra quarter of an inch off for your floor plate because you got to get your floor plate back under there. So that'll slide back under there when you're ready to uh, weld things into place. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get that tube cut, fit it up, and we'll get it tacked in place, and then we'll show. Okay, we got our A-pillars tacked in now. We like how they fit here. Um, both sides we've done, they're the same, and uh, everything clears really nice. We're not tacked in down here. This is still loose, so we can go ahead and pull these plates back out of there one last time, drop the cage into the hole again, and then we'll be able to get better access to the top of this weld joint to finish our welding. We'll uh, get these plates pulled out of here. We'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, we've dropped the cage through the floor. That's given us an uh, extra inch and a half of room on top here to do our, our finished welding on the top of the cage. Um, really makes a difference in how you get up here. Keeping in mind, you know, we don't have a windshield in here. There's no glass in here, no, no carpet, no seats, anything. All of this is going to make a huge difference in how, how easy or difficult it is to put this cage in. So we'll go ahead and finish up the weld on the top here. We'll put our floor plates back in, do our final welding on the bottom of the A-pillar legs, and uh, then the cage kit is complete. Okay, so that's it for our cage installation. Uh, check them out on our website, www.diy4x.com. Uh, if you got any questions, hit us up with an email or a phone call.
Catch you later.